Okay. So from here, I'm just going to nap it out. This is a secondary biface, very little cortex. Some of the original surface is here, but uh, that's going to be taken off very quickly. I don't want to lose much thickness at all right now. When I get down to the preform stage, it'll be about this thick. More narrow, of course, but I'm going to maintain this thickness. Okay. I just ground that platform. These flakes are not traveling past halfway, We're going exactly halfway. I'm going to go ahead and narrow this down more because I'm trying to send thin flakes a little bit too far and they're hinging in the middle. Now the general shape is a habit I have from my other archaic type points, but a, a Clovis preform has a narrowing base, so I'll, I'm going to make make it look more egg shaped instead of you know really white at the bottom. shooting short flakes to shape it. I'm not worried about thinning it. It's very close to the final thickness right now anyway. And I still, I still am a little bit uh, haphazard, but what I'm doing is I'm trying to straighten this edge, and straighten that edge. Because right now it's very wavy, so I'm just looking for opportunistic flakes to straighten that edge, and to uh, generate the basic overall shape. I'm going to narrow this base down. I want to avoid any crushing at all. So I'm not being aggressive with the flakes, I'm just taking short flakes. Now that technique that I just catch those steps, uh, it can be done with antler too, but you have to be very careful because some of those flakes will dive into the point and you'll end up with a, a manufacturing defect. This one almost did that, but I can clean that off. There's still plenty of mass there, I can just run a flake across. But I'm still working on narrowing the base. I'm 
and straightening the edge. I'm just making it more narrow. Okay, at this point what I'm going to do is I'm going to grind all the way around and switch to a smaller diameter and refine this preform and remove all of these hinges and steps and then I'm going to flute both sides. So I'm going to switch to this diameter here. Grind it down. I'm going to use that concrete block. Let's see if I can get one out front so I can show you. All I do is I rub back and forth. Which can be done with an abrading stone by rubbing back and forth like this around the whole point. This just saves me some time. And what this does is it keeps the edge fairly sharp because flakes are being removed in both directions. Um, on some of the originals, the flakes were remo removed in one direction and there was, there was beveling on each side. But uh, this point is not wide enough for beveling right now, so I'm going to uh, just, gen I'm just gently doing this and very gentle on the tip. Very gentle on the base. A little bit harder on the sides. Now if I wanted to I could prepare the uh, each individual platform that I wanted to remove a flake from, but I find that uh, because of habit and also because of time-wise, I just take opportunistic flakes at this point. See, so there's a platform here, platform there, platform there. There are various areas where I can strike. And strike in directions that will help me to remove these uh, st steps and hinges.
I'm doing this kind of random. On the originals, they flaked. At this stage, they they flake from the base to near the tip. From in this direction, from base near the tip, base near the tip. And then when they get to the tip, they sharpen the very tip first, and then they come down. So flakes, scars, you can tell they progress in this direction, and then in this direction, after. So I'm going to try to do that. I'm going to run some flakes into here from both sides and then up the blade a little bit and then grind wherever I need to to strengthen that edge. I'm not losing much thickness. I don't want to lose the thickness right now. I sent that one more than halfway, but there was a lump there, so I'm not worried. Right now I'm just concentrating on cleaning off that surface. I need to remove that. So let's see. Almost. Should be able to send a flake this way. Now when you hit on the base or the tip, you've got to support it. That's one lesson I've learned. And I just grip it. The edges are a little sharp right now, and the tape helps to prevent cuts, but I grip it pretty hard. That platform is not ready. So I just ground it back a little bit. Let me see if I can trim it. There, it's a little bit better now. And this is the same process I use for the fluting. Let me grind these sides. I ground the sides because it was starting to cut into the tape. Okay. Well, it almost went. There's a bit of a hard spot here, so it's preventing the flakes from traveling very far, but it's it's okay. I can come in at a different angle. Turn this edge that way a little bit. Okay, the 
and I'm gonna grind just brushing back and forth on that concrete block and uh, the first attempt will be here on this platform that sent a flake across that was pretty good if it didn't work out I would have another second attempt on this platform here but it worked out fine so now to clear off this step here I can come in from this platform right there just gotta make sure it's strong I don't have to hit very hard at all there it is so the base right now is is pretty well flaked and uh, they call it lenticular when the cross section is an oval so it's lenticular just a little bit of dressing up I didn't grind it so I got a little bit of a step fracture, but I can t I can remove that by just by taking a flake on the other side. Okay, the base is pretty much flaked, and I'm going to move up toward the point. So I'm going to going to. Uh, Take a flake here and here, flip it over, take another flake. I think you get the idea. All the while I want to make sure I've got plenty of thickness in the middle. Island here, so I'm going to. Uh, I could attempt to use this platform to run a flake across. I really can't do much from this side coming in this way. I think I'm going to strengthen this edge here and run the flake down diagonally. Make sure I'm making solid contact. That didn't work very well, so I'm going to try it from that angle here. Again, the island's getting pretty bad, but uh, still. I still got plenty of thickness so I can come at it in different directions. If I was really thin at this point, that would look pretty hopeless. So let's see. Let's switch to a larger diameter tool and try to remove a very large flake across. All I did was I, I ground the edge in that direction to bring this platform down. 
I'm actually going to hit it here, not there, but right here. Let's see what happens. Okay, now I'm going to hit there. Okay, so that wasn't bad. I still have a good amount of thickness. I've got bold flake scars. Let's switch back to the smaller diameter tool and uh, clean this up here. this step by a flake going diagonally across this way. See how I hit there? Now it's getting a little thin. It's still not too bad. I find that most Clovis points are not very thin. It's not until the later Midland and Folsom points where they start to uh, plan on very thin points. I'm also shaping a little bit as I grind it. Okay. So I've got a little bit too much mass, or it's starting to curve down that way, so I need to remove mass off the bottom here. So mass off the bottom here. What I'm going to do now is attempt to put the flutes in before I do any more flaking on the blade. So I still have a good amount of thickness, it's still stout enough to resist the bending forces from the fluting. So, what I'm going to do is prepare this edge here by moving it, by turning it to the other side. Simple, short, beveling flakes. and then abrade it. Now 
A natural platform is forming right here, so I'm just going to use that and kind of go in this direction. I'm going to use a larger tool to get a wider flake. I'm going to grip it pretty hard. And that wasn't bad at all. It did it is stop in that hard spot, but uh, it went pretty good. I'm going to take another one, another flute type flake next to it, and then flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. Okay, that's good enough for now. I'm not going to take another one in the middle, although I could. I'll wait till later. If it needs it, I'll do it later. And again, just simple beveling flakes. This can be done with a pressure flake or two. I don't want to lose my length, so I'm starting to get concave there. There's a rounded portion of this concrete block that I'm going to braid with. Just braiding in one direction to create a beveled, a beveled edge. And again, that platform is a little off center, but it's okay. I noticed in a lot of these Clovis preforms that they're not too particular about where where these flakes are removed, especially in the Western style Clovis. I don't know if there is such a thing as a Western style, but I know that they a lot of times took multiple flakes. So I'm going to grip it pretty hard. Make sure I have firm contact. The uh, tip does strike my finger, but I snap hit. I don't follow through, so it's not going to hit my heart, my finger very hard. And that terminated right about there. I'm going to move over and take another short flake. It stepped. Okay, I should be able to get into that over the flake there. And another one. And then uh, one more on the opposite side and the preform should be done. That can be removed later. Okay, the natural platform is starting to develop right here, so I'm just going to follow that. Again, it stepped, so I'm going to move over and see if I can't run a flake down right beside it to avoid those steps.
Okay, that's fine. Now that's the preform. I'm going to uh, stop the video here. It's already 31 minutes. And then from here, what I'm going to do is pressure flake and uh, dress up the edge with a pressure flaker all the way around and then uh, you know uh, figure out my strategy for narrowing this down and smoothing out the uh, the contour of the surface okay